what we want to do now is we want to get our, and this is our folders ready, so we can start bringing assets in and out. So you're going to come over here to the, uh, in a sense, the uh, navigation menu. And here's your SRC folder. I guess that means source folder. That's what people say it is. And you right click on it and you just go new and you want to create a folder. And that folder, in a sense, would be assets. So that would be my, my first folder. And I'm going to put all my images, my video, my audio, whatever needs to go in there. Now you can get more complex and create a bunch of other folders, but uh, that's what we'll do. We'll make it as simple as possible here. The next thing you want to do is you can come along here and create another um, folder. And we're going to call this components. And I would be camo capping here again if I had two words, but I'll just keep them all small letters. And typically that's traditional. Uh, that's how people do it, so hit finish. And so I have two folders in there. I have this assets folder. So the folder that I downloaded from the web, I want to now drag all the content from that folder on the web into assets. Okay, so I'm going to go find that folder and drag everything into it. And hopefully I downloaded it. Here it is. Now here's one of the coolest things about Adobe Flex is that it's a drag and drop system into the folder. So if I just open up that folder, okay, and I could just hit a control A if I wanted to on that folder, highlight everything. Control A. And then I could just drag and drop it all into my assets folder. And that's the neat thing about Adobe Flex. You can drag, drag and drop in from the folders. Now, the reason I like this so much is when I'm uploading a folder to the web, I'll use FileZilla, which also has drag and drop. So I can just go right here and drag the uh, produced product right onto the web. It's just from the Adobe Flex uh, folders. So I have that in there now. And so I want to go back once again to slide one. So make sure you click on state one. So now we're going to start adding stuff to state one. And what I want to do is go ahead and just start with the top. I'm going to just add the, uh, the label. And that is Discover Landmark Covington. That's just going to be a text label. I want to do this where? In the base state. Why do I want to do the base state? Because the same title occurs on every slide. So if you look what Amanda designed here in the design document, that is on every slide. So let's do that in the base state. So you come over here, open up your components again. Now this is not going to look very good. So you know what I'm going to do when this is done? I'm going to go to my designers and say, hey, here, take this, and you make it look, look pretty, OK? But now we're just trying to get all the containers in the right place. Let's come along here and just drag this labels component out here. And from there, you can just type in uh, Discover Landmark Covington. And certainly that's not the right size, is it? So what I'm going to do is go over here and bring up my Windows Flex Properties. Bring up Flex Properties down here at the bottom here. And here I can change my font and uh, color and everything else. But what I'm basically going to do is just uh, jack this up a little bit to maybe um, Let's go to about 32. Now, eventually what you want to do is use something called a cascading style sheet. And Flex works really fantastically with cascading style sheet. It has a whole ton of tutorials on that on my uh, website. So what you want to do now is just go ahead and open that up and center that a little bit. We'll just put it under the buttons for now, OK? And we're just going to kind of ignore this for the rest of the tutorial. Uh, if you notice, if you go back to states, though, you'll notice this is on every state. State 1, State 2, State 3, and if it isn't, you made a mistake. So now you want to go to State 1 because this content you only want on that state. So what's the next thing you want to do? Well, if you look at the bottom, there's a text area component, and there's a calendar pop-up, and there's a uh, logo. So let's create those two, and then we'll come back and create the custom component next. So come on down here, and let's drag a text area out to the bottom. So just come over here, and you'll see in the components menu there should be a text area. And we're just going to drag that to the stage. And you can open it up a little bit and stretch it out a little bit, of course. Now, I don't like to leave a text area uh, vacant, so I want to put some filler text in here. Now, if you really want to impress your graphic design students, you, you use Lorem Ipsen. Do you know what I'm talking about, Lorem Ipsen? So what we're going to do is to run to the web real quick, grab some Lorem Ipsum, and let's paste it in that box, OK? So I'm going to pause this. So I grabbed some Lorem Ipsum from the web, and I'm just going to double click right in the box, and I'm just going to paste it. 
And what I'm going to do too is this is one more step here. I'm actually come up right here, put a little return here. And this is supposed to be the holder for what? Updates and announcements. I'll just put a little updates announcements right here. And that's good right there. Now the next thing I want to do is right next to it, everyone right there, put a button. So I'm just going to drag a button to the screen. Right next to it. I'm going to double click and get rid of the text in the button. Just make it invisible. And I'm going to square that button out a little bit. I'm just going to stretch it out. Okay, cool. And there's one last thing I need to put here, and I can see I've already, I'm already uh, need to stretch things out a little bit. And that's that icon, that logo. Now that logo is an image that I uh, have actually already processed. And so what you want to do is just drag out an image container. So you just drag out an image container, put it right next to the button, right here. There you go, and that's where your logo is going to go. Now what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to go get that logo and put it in this box and get that uh, calendar image and put it in the button box, okay? Now I could have used a, a, an image here as, instead of a button, but I just saw I'd show you the, the difference, okay? So once again, where do you think I want to be? I'm in the base state, that's in one, that's good. If you go to base state two, you notice what? None of this stuff is there. Base state one, all that stuff's there. Now one of the cool things that Flex will do as well that you can't do with an HTML page is you can arrange these components as so they're transitions from page to page. So Flex will remember what's on this page and what's on the next one. You can transition from page to page. And that's something you can't do in HTML. So let's click on the image one since that will be the most revealing. And let's go to Windows and go to, once again, Flex Properties. That's where I'm going to those properties, right? Are you with me tomorrow? Yeah. Cool. No problem. And uh, we can get out of states for just for a moment. We'll have to come back there. And what you'll notice is there's a little button. Let me show you where it is. Right here. See that folder button? I'm going to double click on that button and it's actually going to allow me to navigate to the SRC folder. And in the SRC folder I have a folder called Assets. And in the Assets folder I can hit my thumbnail there. See how many little thumbnails? I can see what's there. Looks like I have a, oh there's the Preserve America. This is what this site's all about, Preserving America, the you know, landmarks. Click on that and when you do, guess what? There's your image right there. I'm going to do the same thing with the calendar and I'll walk around and make sure everyone's up where I am. I'm going to click on the button right there. You see that little button? I'll highlight it. I'm going to go to my icons once again, go to my SRC folder, and I'm going to go assets and I'm going to click on, well, calendar one the, right there. And it's going to fuss at me a little bit and then say, okay, we're good. And if you scroll down to the bottom, the name of my calendar image? Yeah. Actually, I actually I think I just brought up the wrong image. Let me try again. Let's go back there. Let's let me hit the thumbnails. I, I wasn't being good. There's a calendar one JPEG and a calendar calendar excuse me calendar JPEG and a calendar ping. I want the calendar ping is what I want. That way I get the transparent background. I actually went in and took this into GIMP and processed it. So you you have that. That goes on the button. Okay, what goes on the image? What goes on the image? Let me go back to there real quick. It should be something called logo, logo.jpg. Okay, and I can actually resize this a little bit, I believe. There we go. All right, good. Now we're ready to do a little bit of scripting. So you can move things around, resize them, put them where you want to. Well, when I put the image on there, yeah. it, uh, it it actually it's over the image, the button, so you can't see it. Did you try to put the image on there yet? The image is too big. The button. The button. Just make the button a little bit smaller. Uh, I guess if I went back and did this again, I'd probably just use an image as opposed to a button. Okay, I'd like to do something really nice here. I'd, I'd like to, whenever I click on this logo right here, I'd like to be taken to the site Preserve America. Okay. So what do you think I'm going to do to, in order to accomplish that? Well, every element in Flex has a what, what type of uh, method? 
a click method. So I, just like a button, I can put a click on an image. So when I click on this image, I'll go right to that site. And I want to do an HTML navigate. So let me go ahead and bring that code up for you real quick. <coughs> 